So I have this habit. Whenever I watch a musical, I walk away obsessed with one character. I mentally cast myself as that character and imagine how great I would look in all of the costumes. I learn all the songs and then toy with line readings or phrasings to really make the role my own. The tricky thing is, these roles are not for women. I want to play Harold Hill, Leo Bloom, Thomas Jefferson, Mark Cohen, J. Pierpont Finch, F-I-N-C-H. And it's a little embarrassing to admit. I mean, I think a lot of actors have a list of dream roles and they might not actually be in line with their singing range or age or level of talent. But for me, none of those things match. And I'm not the right gender. But imagine if you will, I had everything else going for me. It would be silly if I wasn't cast because, you know, I'm a woman. Now I understand that I'm beating a horse that is perilously close to death. The reason I'm drawn to these roles is that they're objectively better than their female counterparts. They get to experience a broader range of emotions, be a lot more flawed, and a lot more fun. Thomas Jefferson and Mark Cohen serve as both antagonist and as friend in key moments that drive the narrative forward. Leo Bloom and J. Pierpont Finch get to ride their obscenely overdeveloped ambition to soaring highs and terrible lows. Harold Hill gets people whipped up into near riot levels of frenzy. And the women in these stories? They fall in love. Now don't get me wrong, I love love. It just shouldn't be the only thing. Partly, selfishly, it's because I am not very good at acting in love stories. Wisely, I have never been cast as the ingenue. But more importantly, falling in love isn't the entire scope of the female narrative. Just isn't. One of the ways to deal with the obstacle of boring, cliche roles for women is to take the fun existing roles for men and instead cast people. I, for one, would love to see women and people of color take on iconic roles from Hamlet to Harold Hill. Even more, I would love to see them take on these roles without it being a thing. Dare to dream. Until then, I'll do what I can to write, produce, and support work featuring complex and compelling women. Thanks for watching.